Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video's topic will be on indexed positions and milling on those indexed positions. So an indexed position is essentially just a additional angled position in the fourth or fifth axis from your setup position. So I've actually already got one set up here. So let's go to the coordinate system manager to see exactly what I'm talking about. So Mac one position one would be the first offset on our machine, on this uh, five axis machine. And that essentially is just the setup axis. You can see there Mac one position one has the axis as my rotary axis. Probably would be setting it up on the machine like so. And then when I go to actually do these flats, I want it to rotate down so that I can mill on this face right here. And that's what the Mac one position two represents. Essentially the Z axis is my tool axis. So I like it to point perpendicular to this face so that I can do that flat. Um, now, how did I actually set that up? Well, let's actually delete this and I'll set it up once again. So Mac one position one represents the setup axis. That's the one we will be setting up on the machine. To add an additional position, basically just click on add and it automatically will toggle to the next position in this case mac1 position 2 this should still use the same origin as mac1 position 1 there's no need for an index position to set up another offset i just want to tell it what angle to put the tool at put, to put the part at and i could do that by just saying place coordinate system origin 2 the same origin used in coordinate system position 1 so just by choosing that off of this menu here any face that i select here I'll be placing the, the z-axis perpendicular to, but I'll be using the origin from Mac 1 position 1. So set this up just like we would any other milled part. Click on select face, choose that face right there, and you can see that it automatically has put the z-axis pointing positive towards that face, and then the x and y are placed as well. Now, I can move those x and y anywhere I'd like, uh, anywhere that would make sense for the operation of this, uh, of this part as well. Uh, just for convention, I'm just going to flip this around Z twice just to get the positive X axis going into the part. So as soon as I click the green check mark, I have created my Mac 1 position 2. Any operations that I want done on this space here, let's say when I go to mill that flat, I will be using Mac 1 position 2. So let's take a look at that. Let's go. Green check mark. Let's add a pocketing toolpath. So in the operation manager, I make sure to choose Mac 1 position 2, new geometry. Now I'm choosing geometry in this coordinate system, which is basically the flat right here. So I'll click on that. I could do constant Z propagation, choose the rest of the pocket. Now with this, obviously, um, I don't want that to be a closed pocket. So I'm just going to go through the motions of setting this as open and then setting that one edge as a wall. My mistake. Now to see what I've done here, I'll refer you to the, the pocketing video that you would have seen in the KevCam webinars previously, also on this YouTube channel. So now that I have my geometry set up, I'll click the green check mark, choose my tool, in this case my half inch end mill, levels. Obviously, levels would be the same as you would set up for your regular pocketing operations. Even though this is on an index plane, I'm still going to use a level from the center there. So in this case, the radius of that uh, of that bar stock is half inch. Pocket depth, I'll take it right to that plane right there. Again, this is the same milling operation we would have done in any other axis. It just happens to be on this angle. So I'm just continuing to set this up like it would normally. Save and calculate, and now I have a pocketing toolpath that does that flat. Okay. Now, in addition to setting up coordinate systems, such as this on an index plane, we can use fourth axis transform. Now this is probably covered in one of those other videos that you see on the YouTube channel, but I just want to show you how we would do it here. So I'll go to the transform button. Let's say fourth axis transform. Include the original operation. Uh, the angle would be 45. I'm going to do this seven more times click on insert, and now we have a fourth axis transform as well. So I've done one flat on that one index plane, and then using the four axis transform, I repeated that through the other seven sides. No need to create other index planes. Index planes are useful for just setting up the toolpath, but then after that, you don't necessarily have to create them for each face, or in this case on this part, you can see there's a couple of holes as well on an angle. I would create maybe one index plane for that hole, like so. Let's just click on add. Again, it toggles to the next number in line. So this is position three. 
And essentially, if I had another flat bottom, I could click on that flat bottom. But here it gets a little tricky because I don't actually have that flat bottom. You can see it's a through hole. So how would I handle it here? Well, I can use some of the old functions we have. In this case, center of revolution face should give me the ability to choose that hole there. You see the Z axis is now the tool axis for that hole, essentially going right down the center of that hole. But I need the origin to be in the same spot. Well, we still have the abilities to choose pick origin. And we can just pick the origin there. You can see Z or Z is still pointing in that same direction. Now, I just freehanded there, but obviously, if you had some geometry to represent the origin, you can better pick that. But again, it's still just the same coordinate setup that you would have seen when you did any one of these other ones. I just happened to trick the system a little bit by saying I want to use that same origin just by clicking right there. But I chose center revolution face to choose the the uh, the z axis to go down that hole. Okay, and with that, I can put a drilled hole down there. So that is indexed position creation and four axis transform. Any other questions? You can review the other videos on the YouTube channel, or you can call us at one eight six six nine seven five one 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 five extension two. Thanks for watching.